All right, in this video, I'm going to do one more example of graphing a rational function by considering x-intercepts, y-intercepts, vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, multiplicities of the zeros, and by plotting a few points. So in this case, we've got the rational function 3x plus 12 times x minus 2 over x minus 1 times x plus 5. So again, to find x-intercepts, we just set the left side equal to 0. And again, um, if we want a whole fraction to equal 0, it's the numerator that's going to have to equal 0. So if we solve uh, each of these, uh, if we set 3x plus 12 equal to 0, I can subtract 12 and divide by 3, and that would give me x equals negative 4. And then if we set x minus 2 equals to 0, well, we can just add and get x equals 2, and that'll be um, my other x-intercept. So usually when I'm making a graph, I like to just put everything in there as I go so I don't you know, kind of forget about everything. So it says we had an x-intercept at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, and an x-intercept of positive 2. And again, you know, it could have made the numerator 0 and also the denominator. So notice the denominator is not undefined. So these definitely are x-intercepts. Um, to find the y-intercept, we just let x equal 0. And if we plug in um, x equals 0, well, we'll get 3 times 0 plus 12, uh, 0 minus 2. It looks like on the bottom we'll have negative 1 times 5. It looks like on top we have negative uh, 24 over negative 5. Well, that's 24 over 5, which is pretty close to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll stick it just a little bit further down there. And now I've got my y-intercept. Okay, so I, what was next? I think we were doing, let's do, uh, let's do our vertical asymptotes next. So remember vertical asymptotes, we figure out what makes the denominator equal 0. And we also make sure that that doesn't make the numerator equal to 0. So if we set the denominator equal to 0, the first factor will give us x equals positive 1 as a vertical asymptote. If we set the second factor equal to 0, we'll get x equals negative 5. And again, we know that this doesn't make the numerator 0 because we said negative 4 and 2 do that. So x equals positive 1, so let me stick a vertical asymptote right there. Um, x equals negative 5, I'll stick a vertical asymptote over there. Okay, so we've got two vertical asymptotes in this case. Um, to figure out the horizontal asymptote, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically multiply it out, okay, because I really need to think about the degree. But actually, I'm going to be a little lazy here because really what's important is the, the, the biggest power on the top and the biggest power on the bottom. So if I multiply 3x and x, I'm going to get 3x squared. And then we'll have some other stuff, but it's going to be smaller degree. We'll have some x's and a constant. Notice in the de denominator, we'll get x times x, which is x squared. And then we'll get an x term and a constant as well. Well, the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. So that means I use the ratio of the leading coefficients. Well, there's a 3 on top. There's a 1 on the bottom. So that means the horizontal asymptote is going to be at the point y equals, or excuse me, at the line y equals 3. So there's y equals 3, so we'll stick, we'll stick that in there. Okay, and now um, at least I've got my asymptotes in place. So I think what I'm going to do at this point is really just, just, just plot a few more values um, just to figure out what's, what's in fact going on here. Um, I think we can use a, a couple observations, though, to really help us graph what's going on in the middle, okay? Um, now, again, I, I, my graph in the middle is not going to be perfect. This is going to be a rough little graph, okay? So we said that, um, so we said x equals negative 4. That was an x-intercept. Notice it has multiplicity of 1 because, you know, there's no powers up here. So that means the graph at negative 4 it just has to cross through it. Okay, So at negative 4, it just has to cross through it. Now, I know it can't be doing this. It can't be going down through there, because if it did that, well, eventually it would have to come back up, because this is a y-intercept. It would eventually have to come back up and go through that point. 
And then you'd have to have another x-intercept. But again, the only place it's allowed to cross is at 2 and at negative 4. So that to me tells me the graph is doing, you know, it's doing something and it's going through and it has to be spiking up to positive infinity. Likewise, since this is a multiplicity of 1, it just crosses through. So that tells me it has to go down to negative infinity at that point. Um, I think we can make the same conclusion here um, when we think about sort of what's going on in the bottom right portion of the graph. I know that x equals 2, um, that's one of my x-intercepts. Um, I know that it, since it has multiplicity of 1, it either has to go just kind of cross through there, either going up or going down. But again, I know it couldn't be crossing going down because this line's a horizontal asymptote. The graph would have to cross the x-axis again to get back to that horizontal asymptote. But again, that would imply there's another x-intercept, which we don't have. So to me, the only thing that could happen is the graph is eventually going to get to that horizontal asymptote and go down um, on, on sort of the, uh, just to the right of it. So the only, only portion of the graph that I really don't know yet is what's going on over here. But again, I think we can make the same conclusion. The graph couldn't be down here because it would have to cross the x-axis yet again to get to this horizontal asymptote, which would mean there's another x-intercept, which we're not allowed to have. So that to me tells me the graph really would kind of be forced to be sort of uh, in the top left corner with respect to those asymptotes. So actually, really, without plotting many points at all, um, we've got, uh, I think we've got a decent little graph. And again, you know, at negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, maybe my y value should be a little higher. Who knows? You can figure that out exactly by plotting points. But again, um, sort of a, a pretty rough graph, I think this would be a, a, a very reasonable sketch.